All right, my friends, a quick overview for the best interior detailer. Today, I have three products for you. Who are those products for? Uh, should you keep using an APC or a general uh, interior cleaner? Which one has the best sprayer? Which one has the best scent to it? Is there any of them that have a bad scent that I would want to avoid? Can these products can be used for heavy to moderate dirt? Or are they just for a general wipe down? Can you clean your infotainment screen with it? Well, today I will answer all of that, so let's get into it. Okay, so the quick interior detailers are for those who expect the best clean and fresh interior. If you want an untouched look, a 24-7 spotless inside, that product is for you as long as you're ready for the consistent wipe downs. Now, those products are for the fast, simple and easy wipe down of dust, fingerprints and everyday normal dirt. First product today is Cockpit Premium from Nexet. It's an old school product. It claims to be shine free, clean all, dust resistant. Uh, it cleans the nav screen and it's silicone free. Next up in today's test and comparison, Gian Interior Detailer. It's safe on all surfaces, matte finish, even on leather. Claims to kill 99% of bacteria and germs, tested by KTR. Streak free, infotainment clean and the best scent and best packaging, in my opinion. Third product for today's test, CarPro Inner QD, a jack of all trades, but slightly more money, cleans all surfaces and screens, claims to inhibit the electrostatic adhesion of dust and leave a protective film to prevent the growth of microbes. Okay, first off, I want to start by testing their cleaning power on the left, Gion, and on the right, CarPro. They both did a great job. It looks like they have a similar cleaning power. Okay, let's check out the finish left by those products. We're gonna apply them on the black panel side by side. I wanna see if there's one of them that is shiny or have a darkening effect. Okay, so each product is gonna have its own applicator. I'm gonna do my best to not cross over other products section. Okay, as far as the application is concerned, all three products are very similar, pretty much the same. They all evaporate quickly. It's all easy to apply. No problem here. No overthinking. Okay, so as far as I can see, there's no difference in the sheen, there's no difference in the finish uh, other than the shade. So all three products leave the OEM finish just like I like it. So I've seen some other YouTube channel reviews that found a darkening effect, which is not the case in my test. So let's take it for what it's worth. I'm gonna keep this one short guys because they all work on the screens. Uh, I've been using those products for years and they all work just great on the infotainment screens, no streak. As long as you flip your microfiber on the dry side on the second buff, 
All very good. So when you have some glossy trims, some satin material, uh, you're gonna leave uh, fingerprints and smudges with the goal of keeping this uh, pretty much perfect all the time. Uh, let's do a wipe down. So in this case, I'm gonna use uh, Inner QD. So when I assess this, this is, this is just some fingerprints. Look how fast uh, those product evaporates. And that way there's no dust, no fingerprints on the window and mirror button as well. It's quickly wiped down. There's no overthinking with those product. Again, the difference between Inner QD and um, Gion Enter Detailer, it's gonna come down to the smell, the scent. And Inner QD has more of a slick finish. It's not super slick, but the anti-static property uh, definitely work. So if that's your jam, you probably should choose this one. Uh, Gion does not leave any uh, slippery or anti-static finish. So that's a big plus for CarPro. Door panel looks perfect now. It's ready to go. Feels much better. Okay guys, for demonstration purposes, I'm spraying directly on the surface, but when it comes to interior detailing, I recommend that you spray your product inside your microfiber towels, that way you avoid overspray and all kinds of problems. Uh, you could use a rinseless, yes, you could, you could use a uh, different product, but uh, the product like uh, Inter Detailer is meant to be fun. It has a very pleasant smell. Uh, it's a fun product. Is it necessary? No. Do you need it? Absolutely need it. You don't. I think it's fun, so I want to share that with you. All right, I've got some fingerprints from the kids again in the windows. There you go, perfect. Took care of the fingerprints and dirty fingers. All right guys, they all clean well. They all seem to be uh, effective and safe for your interior uh, materials. And the one that I dislike the most is from Nexet. The scent is a little bit offensive. I really don't like the scent. But other than that, I've had it for years. It works great. It's uh, maybe a little more foamy than the other, than the other two but they're still an alcohol-based product. I really like the sprayer, although I'd like the trigger to be a little uh, longer, like just like the one from Gian, but nonetheless, it's a great product. Uh, price for value is pretty much the same price uh, across the three products, and it leaves no uh, special finish. I just leave the natural uh, OEM finish, right? In second position, I like the one from CarPro called Inner QD. It has some anti-static and anti-microbial uh, uh, properties, but the, for the anti-static, uh, it's really working great. It's not a gimmick. It leaves a, a slick finish to the interior plastic. Over time, you don't see as much dust. But nonetheless, it's a great product. Uh, the smell is okay, but it's nothing uh, to write home about. So the CarPro Inner QD lived up to its promise a great product and my winner in my book is Gian interior detailer the smell is the best of the three really nice smell the same scent from Gian prep and uh, Gian wax and many other products from Gian they, they use the, the, the this scent a lot uh, I like the trigger from Gian I even put a Gian trigger on CarPro you got the G now the trigger uh, they, they improved the trigger it's a little longer uh, this one you can see the color but Gion is coming out with a, a new label uh, that you'll see soon in my channel so stay tuned and subscribe for that uh, i haven't seen any darkening effect in, in any of those three products so this one will leave more of a slick finish and this one more of a dry natural finish overall uh, you can go wrong with those two i just uh, prefer this one because of the scent but those two are very similar in the cleaning power the finish so guys i'll leave the link in the description you can go wrong with any of them Pick the brand you, you prefer the most, pick the one that interests you the most. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.